Hello friends, welcome to BSC Agriculture. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So let's move to the video. In this video, we are going to see about introduction to agricultural botany. I am going to cover the topic uh, general morphology part one. So it uses to combine of about lifespan of the plant crops as well as habitat root root structures as well as the stem of the plants. So it is the lectures two part one. So while seeing about that, so first I am going to classify the plants based on the plant lifespan so which is also shortfully i can able to call it as the duration of the plant lifetime so while saying about them the first one of the classification for mine is annuals so the in annuals which are said to be the plant which used to grow or attain its reproductive stage in particularly one season so at this period they even um, grow comes from the vegetative stage to its reproductive stage as well as also attain its uh, maturity and it die at the end of the season so for example sunflower paddy so these are said to be termed as annuals and the biennials so these are said to be known as the plant which used to live for two years so or else you can able to call it as for two seasons so at the first um, season they used to attain their full vegetative growth and uh, only after that in second season they used to produce flowers seeds or else the productive pot in the second year so after that they used to die off these are said to be known as the biennials for example cabbage carrot radish or some of the examples and the third one of the classifications are the perennials so perennials are said to be the plants which you use to have the longer life and go for more more of the uh, produce in their lifetime so it used to live for around the period of 10 to 100 years even in some of the plants for example mango terminal so these are said to be comes under the term perennials and the fourth one is multennials so these are said to be live for many years but they do not flower uh, at each and every year but they give flower and give only once fruit during their uh, life cycle so which are said to be known as the monocopic for example, agave, palm, as well as bamboo are these said to be known as the multennials. So you can able to classify perennials and multennials by one difference. So the perennials which used to give the reproductive as well as the produce at each and every year once it attained its reproductive stage. But in multennials it used to only once give the reproductive flowers or seeds anything else at the end of the life cycle. So that's why they are said to be called as the multennials. And uh, now we are going to classify the plants based on their growth habit. So the first one I am classifying it is was the herb. So which are said to be the small plants with the soft stem or said to be comes under the herbs. And the shrubs are which are said to be uh, somewhat bigger than the herbs. But they also used to have hard and woody stems which is said to be branch and also uh, found near the ground so that the plant is said to be in bushy in condition without having a clear trunk so these are comes under the shrubs so the shrubs are said to be larger than the herbs and but smaller than the trees example the crotons which we are going growing in the garden for the beauty for its beauty and uh, trees so these are said to be the very tall as well as the larger one so which used to have a clear trunk and have hard woody broad stems for example mango tree so now you can able to classify this classification and after that we are going to see about the vegetative uh, just a minute so vegetative morphology of the plants so first i am going to tell about the roots so while seeing about the roots which use it to grow downward in the soil so the primary functions of the roots are the fixation of the plant in soil absorption of nutrients as well as the conduction of nutrients to stem and leaves so these are said to be known as the observing material of the plants so while seeing about the root system arms root they are said to be classified into two types so the first type of classification is taproot system so during the germination the radical which use it to give the primary or taproot system so radical is the portion in the seed which used to grow downwards and become the main root so these are said to be known as the taproot in taproot system the primary roots and its branches formed from taproot of the system is said to be found in all dicot plants so 
in the tap root system is most common in dicot plants so you must need to also remember this and uh, it's it is a picture of the tap root system growing plant so where the root system is produced from the radical and uh, bromule used to grow in the upper stem portion so the major primary stem which used to forms the observing portion in these dicot plants and after that while seeing about the second type which is adventitious roots so the plant roots which is said to be grow from plant bodies other than the radicals so in tap root the root system is grown from the radical but in adventitious root the root system is said to be grown also other than the radicals so the root system also produced by the radical as well as other parts of the plant so these are said to be called as the adventitious roots they use it to develop a yeah, a uh, different base as well as uh, develop a particular base for the stem replacing the primary root or in addition they also used to form nodes and internodes of the stem so even under the leaf surface in particular special circumstances once the environmental climate is suitable for those substances so for example all monocot plants are said to be comes under adventitious root system so it is a picture of adventitious root system so where the radical used to form the primary root structure but the la lateral roots are said to be even formed from the other parts of the plant so the adventitious root in particularly in adventitious roots the roots are said to be even formed from the stem under some special circumstances so from these you can able to see the different types of roots mm, and after that we are going to see about the modification of tap roots for food storage so the first one in its fusarium root so these are said to be the roots of hypoclein which is said to be swollen in middle and gradually tapering towards the apex so these uh, roots are said to be spindle shaped uh, give the spindle shaped appearance for example radish and, uh, and the second type is napiform so these are said to be considerably swollen but uh, partly tapered at the lower uh, surface so it is not that much fallen um, like the fusiform root so for example turnip and beetroot and the conical roots so these are said to be not fallen but their base are gradually tapered around the apex so they used to give a cone like structure as well as cone like appearance so that's why they named as conical roots example carrot so after that there is a uh, some of the special um, mo tap root modifications for respiration is said to be made so Uh, these types are said to be known as the nematophores so it is said to be mainly found in the marshy places which used to plant develop a special kind of roots for the respiratory function so this these are said to be found in mostly the mangrove forest regions so they used to roots are said to be formed at this space outer space so for taking the air through the respiration process for example uh, the rhizopora is said to be an example and uh, you can able to see in this picture the roots are said to be over climbed from the soil to observe air for its uh, respiration process and uh, after that we are going to see about the modifications of advent uh, adventitious roots for food storage uh, at first the first the for food storage tuber rose or tuber color roots so these are said to be a small on one type without any definite shape so they do not have any types of particular shape so they are said to be singly produced and uh, not in clusters for example sweet potato as well as seeing uh, the fasciculated roots they are said to be occur in cluster but uh, they are said to be fallical at the base of the stem uh, so for example asparagus dahlia or is the best example of fallical fasciculated roots and uh, while seeing about the adventitious root modification for food storage the nodeless roots so these are said to be a slender one where the roots become suddenly small and at the apex and it is also said to be a yeah, nodeless for example mango ginger and moldy form or bedded roots so these are said to be the roots with swelling at a frequent interval so for example momordica portulaca as well as wild vine are some of the examples of moldy form or bedded root Um, sorry and annelated roots so these are the roots which used to have a ring like swelling in its body so these roots are mainly known for its medicinal plants uh, like pistoc pycotria uh, so these are 
the different types of advantages modification for the food storage and uh, for seeing the mechanical support of the advantages root modification so the first one is prop or pillar root so the number of roots uh, which are said to be produced from the main stem and which are said to be often vertically grown down from the branches and give the support for the main stems for example banyan tree and the climbing nodes so these are said to be found from the roots are produced from the nodes as well as often in inter nodes um, where it is used for the climbing so for example beetle and black pepper are the best example for climbing roots and uh, foliar or epipylous roots so these are the roots which are said to be found in bryophyllum as well as uh, bignonia so once the leaf structures which are said to be found uh, near the soil and which used to touch used to produce uh, some kind of new roots at the modular end of the leaves so they can be even cut and uh, grown as the but, uh, new plant so it's how the foliar uh, roots have some of the particular advantage so i have you shown in this picture and after that the steel root or brace root so these are said to be the roots which use to arise from the lower nodes and enter into the soil obliquely so they are said to be known as the steel root for example maize sugar cane you can able to see these uh, type of steel root or brace root and uh, the buster root so they used to show um, be found in the tropical rainforest so the root used to appear as the basal part of the stem and which used to spread in different direction so for example fiscus bombax as well as stemlaria you can able to see this buttress root pic, uh, picture so they used to have different shape uh, and uh, while seeing about the advantage roots modification for its vital function so they are also used to show some other found in some of the parasites so they are these are said to be known as the parasitic roots as well as hostoria mm, so they used to have a microbial nature so which used to suck from uh, suck and penetrate into the roots or else the host plant and suck the nutrient from them uh, so for example dodder as well as broom rape uh, viscum are some of the examples of parasitic roots and uh, respiratory roots so these are said to be found in the aquatic plants so the plants which use it to have the adventitious roots with a soft and light spongy and colorless so they are said to be developed above the water level and store air for the respiration so for example um, juicea is a best example for the respiratory roots and uh, epiphytic or hydroscopic roots so these are said to be the plant which is said to be grown in the branches of other trees so they use it to have the clinging type of Uh, or else the hanging type of uh, roots so they never penetrate the supporting plant like parasite but they instead develop a special kind of aerial roots so they use it to absorb the air present in the surrounding as well as the moisture around them so they use it to absorb moisture and the surrounding air and uh, live their life in that particular root. example vanda which is an epiphytic orchid and uh, the photosynthetic or assimilatory roots so there are some plants which use it to their roots are said to be climbing near the trees and uh, produce long slender hanging shoots which use it to be green in color so because of the presence of chlorophyll in the particular tree example tinospora is a best example and uh, after that we are going to see about the classification of stem so while seeing about the stem they are said to be produced from the pyramiole of the seed so these use stems are used to bear leaves at the particular point which are said to be known as nodes and the portion between the stem and the two nodes is said to be known as the internode the gap between two different nodes we can able to say in them and the stem may be branched or unbranched based on different plants and uh, also the stem can be erect and strong as well as uh, or weak stem based on the plant characteristics so first i am going to tell about the weak stem of plants so they are said to be the first classification is trailing so where they used to lying on the ground uh, for example in cucurbits so they cannot able to stand steadily and rise up to the apex so they are said to be crawl around the sand so that they can able to produce the new leaves so for example best example is uh, cooker bits and uh, decum stem which is said to be a tridax is the best example and uh, after that uh, the second one is creeping so these are said to be the runners uh, offset stolon and uh, suckers are said to be comes under the topic of creeping 
so they are said to be get its support with uh, some other plants and the climbing which is said to be found in some of the peas beetle vine pepper trees so the beaks are said to be stem so they use it to attach to the neighboring object by means of special climbing devices in the plant so they get the support from the other sources so i have given the pictures of the climbers and uh, the different forms of stem so while seeing about the first one is the cardex which is said to be the unbranched cylindrical one so they are said to be have scores as well as the which is the scores of the fallen leaves and the crown of the leaves are said to be present at top of the plant so for example palm and uh, culm so which is said to be a solid node with a hollow inner node so the inner um, the plant is stem is said to be have um, an empty space so for example bamboo as well as a rice and these are the pictures of culm as well as the cordex and uh, some other forms are excurrent so these are the branches which used to form uh, acropetal succession and the, the tree used to give a cone like appearance from top to bottom so for example pinus eucupris uh, cashewnia etc and decurrent um, so which is used to have somewhat different from excurrent so they used to have lateral branches and uh, grow more vigorously from the main trunk and uh, which used to give a dome shaped structure so for example mango banana ba banyan or best example for decurrent type of stems and uh, while seeing about the modifications of stem so they are mainly classified or uh, grouped into three types so the first one is undertone stem modification subaerial stem uh, modification and aerial stem modification so while seeing about the undertone stem modification so the first one is the rhizome so the where undertone stem modification uh, with the fleshy and horizontal stem which is said to be found below the stem small internodes uh, are said to be found with this scaly leaves for example ginger turmeric canna are the best examples of rhizomes and tubers so these are said to be the swollen portion of the undertone stem which is used to act as a, a storing agent uh, as well as the propagule so for example the best examples are potato and these uh, tubers also used to have an axillary bud which is said to be covered by scales so which can be used for the propagation purpose and bulb so these are the stem which is used to have their disc like structure which is surrounded by numerous fleshy scales and uh, most of the roots are said to be arised from its base for example onion and garlic and uh, calm so it is said to be the considered form of a uh, rhizome so it usually looks similar but it grows vertically under the soil surface and also have a spherical node as well as the internode example colocasia saffron are the best examples of calm so i have given the pictures of the undertone stem modification with their example so you can able to see that and uh, the second classification is subaerial modification of stems though the runners stolon suckers offset as well as the sobel uh, while seeing about the runners so these used to travel around the uh, soil surface so the lower surface uh, used to develop uh, the roots as well as uh, the upper portion used to form leaves and so for example oxalis marsilia strawberry are the best example of runners and uh, offsets so these are said to be used to form a lateral branches or uh, with short inroads so they used to form a leaf or tough like structure at the roots of the base so example water lettuce yeah echonia are the best examples of offset and the stolons so while saying about the stolons the stems are said to be small or condensed with uh, which used to grow in all directions but after growing the apical region which used to come out with soil and used to produce a new plant so the for example stolon uh, i have given the pictures of strawberry as well as colocasia and uh, the suckers so while saying about the structure the main stem used to grow horizontally in the soil but uh, the branches which used to develop uh, different nodes above the soil and used to form a new plant so for example mint pineapple chrysanthemum are the best example of suckers and so both the these does not belong to uh, have any reserve food material like runners uh, but they usually look like the picture of runners example agropyron and uh, after that uh, while seeing about the third classification of stem which is a aerial form modification of stem so while seeing about the aerial modification the first one classification is stem tendril so which used to have a climbing type of nature they used to form a thread like structures 
with the help of plant which is used for the climbing nature example peas which is a pisum sativum and uh, thorny which is used to have a uh, product for its production purpose so in some of the plant structures some of the pointed structures are uh, short pointed structures are said to be found um, for the productive purpose from the interaction of other animals so these are mainly for the productive ones for, so you can able to see the in uh, lemon pomegranate as well as in rose so these are the aerial modification of plants of uh, stem tendril thorn pilocan as well as calot and uh, while seeing about the pilo clade so these are said to be mainly for the photosynthesis so you can able to see the pilocate type of aerial modification of stem in xerophytic plants so they use it to shed their leaves for the transpiration so you can the stem can become green and also with the um, chloroplast so they can able to produce their photosynthesis without the absence of leaves so for example opuntia casuarina cactus which is found in also in desert regions are the best example for pilocate and uh, cladoids so while seeing about them these are said to be cylindrical as well as flattened stem branches of fixed growth so they usually have one or two internodes with the succulent types uh, so they are said to be called as carrot example asparagus as well as rascus and uh, bulbils so they are said to be mainly classified for the reproduction purpose so they used to have a fl axillary fleshy bud in their uh, stems uh, so which are said to be called as bulbils uh, and it used to helps in the vegetative reproduction so example globa again are the best example for bulbils so these are the pictures of bulbins or oxalis as well as dicorcia and the third one is the branching pattern so while seeing about the branching pattern of the stem they are said to be the major two types of branching which is a lateral branching as well as dichotomous branching so the first one is a lateral branching so the branches are said to be arise from the sides of the stem so the in each sides the branches are said to be arise so they are said to be also known as the laterals uh, that's why it gives to give the name of lateral branching so it is even uh, classified into two types uh, racemous as well as cymose so the racemose is also have the other names like monopodial as well as indefinite branch uh, type of branching so the stem which is used to indefinitely grow by the terminal buds and the lateral branches of the main stem are said to be arranged in acropetal section so the plant used to give a conical shape example cashmina as well as polyarthia and uh, while seeing about the cymose or uh, which is said to be have a definite type of branching so the growth of the main stem is said to be definite and the main stem almost produce lateral branch so which is too vigorous than the main axis so they are said to be spread above the main and uh, used to grow the less pro uh, less dome shape uh, other than uh, racemos so the branching you know, is to have following types so uniparous cyme which is said to be a cymos type but also used to have lateral branch produced at a time and the helicot or one sided cyme so where the successive branch are said to be found in same sites for they used to form a helical structure as in saraca and the scorpoid or alternate uh, side cyme so which used to have successive branch developed so they used to have zigzag formation example in vitis vinifera and a biparous cyme so it is a sign where the branching used to have two lateral axes developed at the time so they are said to be known as biparous as well as dicasial uh, for example in datura and a multiparous sign so these are said to be used to have two branch at a time and the branching are said to be a yeah, multiparous as well as the polychaetal example in croton spa spasiflorus so these are the different types of branching and uh, the second type is dichotomous branching uh, where the used to have purificate type um, producing two producing a two branches said to be forked so you can able to see them in flowering plants such as high high pain so it is said to be common in flowerless plants like ricina as well as lycopodium pagimeria uh, the rhizostomous branching is said to be common so i have given the lecture notes in description so please tell us tell us about our video as well as join us in the instagram page So if you like the video like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to BSC Agriculture and hit the bell icon to get regular updates so thanks for watching the video i will catch you up in next videos